My Tyrant Porty are launched into early access at the beginning of this year and has already received a wealth of updates to add more content and story. If you want to know more, keep watching and we'll take you through 10 things you can do in My Tyrant Portia that just weren't possible at launch. If you thought your house wasn't big enough, you can now upgrade it three times. Each expansion has new features, including more rooms and a second floor. You can also buy more land to increase the size of your yard and create more room for machines and your assembly station. Speaking of which, you can now upgrade the assembly station to level 3, which will unlock more blueprints for craftable items. You'll also want to ensure you have enough space for a stable, a shed and a coop if you want to keep horses and livestock. More on that later. Portia is a quiet little town set in a post-apocalyptic world, and since launching into early access, we've added new locations for you to visit. Head to the desert, where you'll encounter new creatures and enemies, as well as a new dungeon and ruins to explore. Then, there's the harbour. You'll need to help the Mayor of Portia rebuild this location in all new story missions and the most recent location to be added, Starlight Island. You'll find a new dungeon to explore here with its own inhabitants to get past. Portia's calendar is busier than ever as we've added more festivals for you to celebrate. Now, along with the Day of the Bright Sun, you can join the citizens of Portia to make and enjoy Hot Pot for Winter Solstice, a brand new annual event. You'll also be able to buy festive decorations for your workshop and yard to mark the occasion and in the most recent content update, we added the Day of Memories, a festival to remember lost loved ones. The town will be filled with decorations, and you'll be able to participate in some fun new mini-games which will only be available on this date in the Portia calendar. As we mentioned earlier, you'll want to have enough yard space for a stable, a shed and a coop, as you can now keep livestock. Farmer McDonald has cows, sheep, chickens, ducks and horses for sale, so you can have your own farm too. Owning a horse also gives you an alternative method of transport in and around Portia, and you can train them to increase their stats. You'll want to look out for the new Portia Land Race too. This is an annual horse racing competition, where you can earn badges to spend on things like exclusive outfits. As for pets, you may have already taken in Pinky, the stray cat, but if you're more of a dog person, then you'll be excited to meet Scraps, Portia's prettiest pooch. As one of the builders in town, you can help the citizens of Portia by rebuilding their museum. Any relic pieces you've mined can be put back together using the recovery machine in the research centre. Then, you can display them in your workshop or donate them to the museum. Remember the colourful llama that run around in the fields outside Portia town? You can now tame them. Catch yourself a pet llama to ride around on as a fun alternative to a horse. We've also introduced a new kind of llama, the cotton llama. This impressive beast can also be captured and tamed, but it will be a little bit trickier to catch. You'll meet lots of unique characters in My Time at Portia who you can befriend and some you can fall in love with. Progress your relationships through talking, gifting, dating, playing rock, paper, scissors and even through sparring. You can go on social and romantic dates and play mini games that will help improve your relationships with other characters. You can now also take your relationship to the next level and get married. Your spouse will move in with you and may give you gifts or help around the workshop. Oh, and if things don't work out, you can always get divorced. It's not you, it's them. To help you be the best builder with the highest rank workshop in Portia, we've added some new features to increase your in-game productivity. As well as being able to upgrade your machines and equipment, you can now build a factory too. This will automate production, leaving you more time for other activities like catching llama or mining for relics. We've also upgraded the storage box system, so you can store all your items, from raw materials and relic pieces, to crafted products and food in multiple boxes, and then access and sort your entire inventory from one screen. There's beautiful scenery and visuals in My Tyrant Portia, offering plenty of photo opportunities. The new camera mode allows you to take photos of the landscape, the people and the creatures of Portia. If you build up your relationship with another character, You'll be able to take group photos too. You can choose from different poses, adjust the distance and change the angle to get the best shot. Once you have the camera, you'll also get the photo album, which has spaces for photos of people, places and creatures. So if you fancy yourself as an amateur photographer, snap away and see if you can fill the whole album. We've expanded the character customization options since my time at Portia launched into early access. We've added new hairstyles, new outfits and new accessories. 
Some of these will add ability perks and look great too. And if you get bored of your hairstyle, you can now visit the barber shop in Portia Town for a change of cut or colour. There are many more improvements to come to my time at Portia, including the brand new martial arts update. Look out for it this September. My Time at Portia is currently available in early access on Steam and will be coming to Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at a later date.